following question reads that why is the first ionization energy of aluminium less than that of magnesium? So we need to figure out why uh, this atom over here has a lower first ionization energy. Now to explain this I'm going to refer to the graph over here where you can see magnesium and aluminium. As you move across the period uh, this is sodium then magnesium then aluminium then you have silicon and phosphorus and sulfur etc. So you're moving across the period. There's a general increase in first ionization energy except for the fact that at aluminium there's going to be a dip in ionization energy. Now the reason why the ionization energies increase across the period is because the protons are increasing. So magnesium over here has 12 protons, aluminium over here has 13 protons. As you move across the period, the more protons they are, the stronger the electron is attracted and more difficult it is to remove an electron. So uh, according to this, aluminium should have a higher ionization energy because it has more protons. But if you look at the subshells of magnesium and aluminium, if you write down the electronic configuration, you would notice that in magnesium, the outermost electrons are in the 3s subshell. Whereas in aluminium, the outermost electrons are in the 3p subshell. If you write down 13 electrons, then aluminium has one electron in its outermost 3p subshell. What this does is that this subshell would be further away from the nucleus of aluminium and there would be more shielding because you would have more number of subshells coming in between this electron and the nucleus of aluminium. So the attraction of aluminium's nucleus for this electron would decrease. Compare this with magnesium where you have two electrons in the 3s subshell. The 3s subshell would be closer to magnesium's nucleus. So the attraction between the, this electron in this uh, subshell would be greater compared to the attraction for the electrons in the p subshell. Which is why it is easier, it is going to be easier to remove an electron from uh, uh, the 3p subshell in aluminium. Hence the ionization energy of aluminium decreases. So the, the reason, uh, I've also written down the reasons, this electron over here is more shielded. You have more subshells coming in between the nucleus and this electron. It is more energetic. It's a higher energy p orbital. So the electron is more energetic. And the last one is further away from the nucleus. So all three suggest that getting rid of this electron would be a lot easier compared to getting rid of electrons in magnesium. So coming back to the question, I'm going to answer each statement. Uh, the first one is that the outer electron in aluminium atom is more shielded from the nuclear charge which is correct it is more shielded you have more subshells coming in between the next one is that the outer electron in the aluminium atom is in a higher energy orbital which is also going to be correct and the next one is that the outer electron in the aluminium atom is further from the nucleus which is also correct so all three statements are correct which would be option a according to the marking key